Hi, my name is Kevin Ray. I'm Vice President and General Manager at Crownline Boats, and we're here today to do a product walk-around video on our brand new E255XS. Now, this is an exciting new boat. The style lines of this particular boat are second to none. In fact, we're so impressed with the look and feel on the water uh, that this boat was selected to be the cover of Crownline's 2019 catalog. When I talk about this particular boat, it's one of the 10 new boats we brought to the market for 19, and it means it's one of the next generation of product. That means it's an all new deck, all new hull, all new running surface, all new upholstery, and it's lots of excitement for you. Now, just by the way of background, the specs on this particular boat are 25 feet, three inch LOA. It's an 8.6 beam. It's got a 19 degree dead rise at the transom and a 39 degree angle of entry at the bow. Total weight comes in about 5,300 pounds, and it's packaged with three different outboard uh, options, either Mercury, Yamaha, or Suzuki, all the way up to 350 horsepower. So plenty of performance, plenty of opportunities uh, for, for those that want different uh, outboard selections, uh, and plenty of opportunities to customize the boat the way you want it. Now before we go inside and do a product walk around, I did want to take this opportunity to talk a little bit about how our outboard boats are packaged. Now, we offer complete packages to the marketplace. Dealers may at times select to delete the trailers based on their individual markets, but we package our boats with trailers. Now, our stern drive boats come with painted steel trailers, deluxe uh, painted steel trailers. Our outboard uh, boats come with galvanized trailers. They come with uh, tandem axles, brakes on both axles, Fulton Jackson winch, and LED trailer lights. In each case, it's a very high quality trailer but we package with galvanized anytime where primarily use is in the salt water. So please keep that in mind when you're making your product selection in the market. At the transom of the E255XS is where a lot of the uniqueness and the value is already built into the design. First, it comes with a full length wraparound swim platform with a non-slip uh, soft touch mat. It also has the social swim transom designed into the rear of the boat. Four step boarding ladder with a built in grab handle. Secondary handles as well. But also on the rear port side, you have the LCD transom remote and the, the built-in battery charger that's standard. On top of that, this particular boat comes with fender storage both in the rear and also in the forward portion of the bow. So this boat is designed to have fender storage both forward and aft. The soft J-Wrap is really featured with this full-length sunbed. It's an electric sunbed that you can be stopped in any position. It can be stopped for a rear three quarter if you want to look out the back of the boat, the traditional seat where you can look forward, or you can have it into the down position. I also want to show this large oversized cushion which is on what we call hands-free hinges. This is the area where you store your, your standard one-piece boat cover. But again, to give an idea of the step down the depth, we're high on my thigh, it's about three, three and a half feet in depth. And then your location for your standard dual battery switch and your circuit breaker reset are located right here underneath that storage unit. So if you ever blow a fuse and need to reset or switch your batteries from your primary battery to your secondary battery, the, the dual battery switch is easily located. Moving forward into the cockpit, I want to talk about a few of the other things uh, th that uh, are, are real nice selling features on the E255XS. This particular boat has been upgraded to the Raymarine 7 inch touchscreen. Now the 7 inch touchscreen comes with a gateway cable so it has engine information, fuel consumption, fuel range, hour meter all built into the dash system. It also has sonar for those of you that want to mark the bottom and are into making sure that you understand the water you're boating in. It comes with analog gauges on both sides and the dash system lights up where all the gauges that are in use illuminate so which is especially helpful if you're boating at night. Also want to point out the stainless steel centered black diamond wheel which is standard and then the built in armrest on the driver side panel so that there's always comfort and convenience when you're in the driving throttle position. Both the driver and passenger buckets are built off suspension seat bases with flip up bolsters so you can adjust to primary and secondary drivers. I know that I'm five or six inches taller than my wife and when she gets into the driver's seat she likes to be able to flip up that bucket seat so she can see over the dash. So it's a great opportunity that uh, things that we do standard equipment in our product so they can adjust for both the height differences in primary and secondary drivers. Also want to talk about the hand stitched side panel and these are lockable so if you carry on items such as cell phones or different things that you, even a wallet you want to be able to lock that side panel up these are lockable and the 12 volt outlet is located right there conveniently for charging purposes as well. Also want to take an opportunity to kind of point out the head compartment in the E255. Again 
because our boats are bigger and deeper than our competition, our head compartments are usually much larger than anything else you're going to see in its class. What is standard in our head compartment is the stainless steel sink, the hand uh, held faucet which is removable so you can shower off if you've been uh, boating all day and maybe you're full of little sand. You want to shower off and be able to change your clothes and go have a meal either in the afternoon or in the evening. Granite countertops, cabinetry, uh, this has the electric flush porcelain toilet and then you also have the soft touch map so when you're stepping down into the head compartment we also put a slip prevention into that unit and then there's a floor drain as well so if you've showered off that all that water drains to the bilge and access the boat. Moving forward, all of our boats, 23 and above, come with the full length stainless steel windshield header. So this is another example of where Crown Line doesn't cut any corners. We put maximum value into our product and that also comes standard with the windshield lock. So in the, in the closed position, it's great when you want to open it up, snaps back in place so that the boat never has a chance or the windshield never has a chance of a slamming closed, maybe catching somebody's uh, fingers or even uh, hitting a small child in the back of the head. Moving forward, we have, we talked about the rear fender storage, now we have the bow fender storage as well. So if you've tied up, there's more than one location for you to store your fenders, drop them out of the way, uh, easily uh, access them when you need them, and when they're not in the way, they're not taking up any of the other uh, prime uh, storage areas inside of your cockpit. Also have a small storage area forward of the helm. This is where you have access to your garbage can and different things. Um, and also if you ever had a, a fender that got stuck in the bag, you could easily access it underneath and push it back through. Another standard feature on the boat is our flush mount bow closeout doors. I know a lot of our competitors, they cut costs and don't do these acrylic doors standard. It's about 400 bucks a boat, but we think that when you have them in the closed position, it's uh, especially if you're boating in climates where there's uh, severe weather changes, meaning could get 70, 75, 80 degrees during the day and 50 degrees at night. So if you've been out on the water all day, you want to be able to seal off that cockpit area for that cool ride home, especially if your clothes are still wet or damp. And so we do these things standard so you can allow to make sure that they're, uh, it's a customer friendly cockpit in all kinds of weather conditions. The beauty of the E-Series design is that you carry the beam farther forward. So what does that mean? You carry the width farther forward so you have the largest seating area in the bow of a particular boat. An E-Series boat also comes standard with a forward boarding ladder as well as a rear boarding ladder. So you can enter and exit the boat either from the forward portion or the rear portion. The key is if you go to beach, maybe on a sandbar or into shallow water, you want to be able to drop that forward ladder so uh, older adults, children, people that may not be uh, really good swimmers can exit the boat in four to six inches of water uh, and barely get wet versus maybe three or four feet of water in the back of the transom. And that's also particularly important if you're boating in a river where there's current. But anyway, on an E-Series boat, you carry the beam farther forward. So this is a maximum seating area. You have oversized lean backs on both, both the port and the starboard. These are designed in with 16 degree lean backs, oversized pillow top headrests, fold down armrests. And again, at 6'1", 205 pounds, I can comfortably lay out all the way in the forward portion of the boat. It's a deep cockpit, fully upholstered, set up with your speakers and entertainment system, LED lighting, plenty of cup holders, and you got a built-in seat base here. So if you want to put your cockpit table in place, you just slide the stem, put the table in place, and you can enjoy a meal or a cocktail out here at any time of the day. On the E-Series, the forward cushion again, on hands-free hinges, allows you access to your carry-on cooler. So when it's not in use, you can snap it out of the way. And then also your lean backs are built on pivots, on stainless steel shocks that allow you access to storage uh, forward of the, of the helm station. So best in class storage, beam carried farther forward, roomy comfortable layouts in the bow, 16 degree lean backs, fold down armrests. I'm telling you, as far as spending the day on the water, you want to spend your day right here on the E255XS. Appreciate your interest in the Crown Line and thanks a lot and look forward to seeing you at this year's boat shows. Thank you.